When I was younger, I played in rock bands as a kid and was interested in music, and I used to be more interested in the, the gear and setting things up and sort of messing around with. I had a cassette uh, karaoke machine with two microphones and two cassette decks, and I used to have my band in my parents' basement, and we'd you know, set up and we'd rehearse and I'd figure out and I'd play with these two microphones and put them in different places in the room and trying to change the balance of the guitars versus the drums and I was more interested in that than actually playing music sometimes and I'd mess around with that. I think that was the first instance when I knew I was interested in the idea of recording music. So I studied at McGill in 2006 to 2008 and graduated. And uh, upon graduation, I started going to the Boston Symphony Orchestra's summer music festival called Tanglewood in Western Massachusetts. So I went there for a number of summers and worked directly with the Boston Symphony and uh, went down there having no clue what I was doing, but sort of learned as I went and gained a lot of great experience. And by doing that for a number of years, uh, was sort of offered uh, you know, the uh, idea of uh, work in Boston and decided, hey, that sounds like a great city and had been interested in moving back to the States. So I ended up moving to, to Boston and working uh, freelance and working with the Boston Symphony, doing a few records, helping out with archival recordings. And that sort of transitioned over many years to finally being offered the full-time recording engineer position for the Boston Symphony Orchestra. I love every aspect of it, but I think Probably my, my favorite part is sitting there behind a console or uh, mixing and sort of playing with the sound and, and trying to figure out what picture I want to paint. I find that the best way to learn about anything is just be exposed to how it's done at the highest level. And that's what's great about McGill. At other places, um, you might be sort of working at this level or you see things done at a certain level and you sort of always match or, or meet whatever level you're surrounded by. And when you get to McGill and you're in Montreal and you're studying with all these amazing people, some of the best people in the world, all of a sudden the bar is set as high as it possibly can be and that becomes normal. And so your normal is as high as it gets. And then if you're ambitious, then you try and get even higher than that and you keep pushing the field higher and higher and doing things that no one else has done before. As a student, never limit yourself and uh, expose yourself to as many things as you can. And more importantly, expose yourself to things that you think you might not be good at or that you might not be interested in. Because you never know, that could be what you are interested in and what you do end up doing. <laughs>